Dr. NT here. This is a quick video to give you a short preview of what you can do on your machine. Let's take a look. If you see, there's a little icon right next to weekly stats. And if you see, you can move it around. This is called floating apps. And a very smart subscriber told me about that. Watch what happens when I click on it. Whoa, does that look familiar? Doesn't that look like Privilege mode on the Android desktop. iFit has a launcher group, and the launcher group is essentially what's on your Android desktop. As you can see, I've installed Netflix, Peloton, Amazon Prime Video, and several others. But what's really important is this taskbar. If you click on the taskbar, what you're able to do is you're able to turn it on. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And when you turn it on, this is what you get. Now you might get it down here, you might get it somewhere else, but I have it configured to be on the right side. And then if you click on this, this is normally what you'll see. So watch this. You're in taskbar, and obviously I don't have privilege mode. So how do I get out of this? You click on taskbar, and then you click on, doesn't that look familiar? Now, don't get your hopes up. It does give you the Android desktop, but unfortunately, we can't actually go to that Android desktop and we're limited in the apps. As you can see, some of the apps are not there. This is the main reason why I'm editing a full length video on how to install floating apps and taskbar, because when you click there and then you click if you could see, there's a magnifying glass there. You get this. Now, this is not important. What's important are these three tabs. Now, again, don't get too excited. This doesn't work. But this, these work, so I can actually see all my open windows. So I can start closing stuff. See that? I'll leave iFit up. Actually, we'll go back to iFit. Look how well that works. No bugs. So... This is my next video coming up. It'll show you how to install floating apps with a taskbar so that you can, and the reason I have both of them, because it looks like it's overkill. You have the apps here and you have the apps here. The main reason I want you to install floating apps and this taskbar is because if you click on the, that circle, you can come here and it gives you access to a limited use of this. This will allow you to go back. This doesn't do anything, but this will allow you to see everything that's running, which is awesome. So if you have open windows like Netflix or something, you can go ahead and close them that way. Once again, there's your floating apps. There's your taskbar. Floating apps, you can go in there and you can play around with it. There's a lot to see. iFit Launcher was over there. I actually have it set up. You can hit configure and put iFit Launcher first. So it shows you this first. But the great part is that you can actually install applications without going into privilege mode. You see that Droid Info? I actually installed that. How did I install that? Let me show you. There's a file browser here. Can you believe it? There's a file browser here. And watch this. I go to the download folder and there's my APK that I downloaded earlier on. It was for Droid hardware. When I click on that, I'll go ahead and go through this even though I've already installed it. Watch what happens. Oh, it says that the app installation failed, unable to read metadata. Actually, that's correct. That's not the way you install. You come here. What you do is you start, I believe it's APK Mirror. 
Let's try APK Mirror. APK Mirror will start. It'll say Browse Files. By default, it goes to the download folder. There's your Droid Info. Let's click on it. <clears throat> Droid Info, it's still there. Let's go ahead and just hit Install Package. See what happens. Do you want to install this application? Sure. Install app. Ah, and look at that. Droid Info. Now it's saying, do you want to install an update? Because I already have it installed. But if I didn't have it installed, you would say install. And look, I'm actually installing a program without privilege mode. Watch this. So it's going through this. It's not really going to install anything because I already have it in place. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and close it. We don't have to open it. And how do I close this? Well, you go to Task Manager. You come here to the... And you come here. You can't tell, but there's a magnifying glass right there. And then you come to the open windows and you close. And there you go. All right, Dr. NT with Floating Apps and Taskbar signing out.